Hey, what's up guys? I'm CJ Quick and in this video I'm going to show you a simple exercise that will help you help your dog be a little bit more off leash. Now yes, we're going to use the leash for this. You can see we've got May here in a 30 foot line. In this exercise, we're going to have May have some freedom, but it's going to be structured. It's not going to be 100% off leash, no accountability freedom because dogs, when they are off leash, if you want reliability, you want your dog to have a higher level of awareness of you. And we're going to consistently remind May that we are still here even when she starts to tune out. Uh, your dog should be able to come, place, and sit really, really well with the remote collar before you begin to practice this exercise. You don't have to use a place to do this or a training cot, but if you do, the added structure of the training cot or your place item will make the end of the recall that much better. All right, so first, we got May May here. I'm gonna release her with her release word, and that is for her, that's go play. May May, go play. So release her, and we're just gonna walk. May May, come place sit good got a little recall going good job reward all right so we're, we tell her to go play as soon as she starts to check out look she's moving away no awareness of me may may come good job place sit good go play we're walking we're walking she starts to, to take to move away and then may may come place sit good little reward go play may may come place sit good there we go oh, sit there we go good job when we're doing this the reason why we call her back to us the second she checks out is because what if she checks out and gets a little bit distracted and then when nothing happens, we don't do anything, then she gets a little bit more distracted. The more distracted she gets, the less awareness she has of us. So the longer she's out there with nothing to do, no structure, the more her awareness of us begins to decline. It's going down. Before it gets too low, we want to call her back to us, raise that awareness back up. As we're doing this, we begin to come across other distractions at the park and different things that usually get dogs distracted. The second they check out, before they get too excited about that distraction, we call them right back to us again. Let's continue on. We're going to do a few more. We've got some dog distractions. We're going to let her drag the leash. As soon as she sees the dog, before her excitement goes too high about it, I'm going to call her to me really soon. So, all right, we're just going to walk this way so she sees the dog. And then, May May, come. Place. Sit. Good. Go play. And I'll even go play towards the distraction so I can get her directly away from it. May May, come. Good. Place. Sit. You see the hesitation on that come command? She was more interested in what was going on over there with the distraction. Don't let your dog stay distracted. The second they see that distraction, boom, call them to you right then. Don't wait too long. May May, come. Place sit yes sniffing is a distraction rolling around and laying in the grass is also a distraction sometimes when the dog gets really into the sniffing or really into the rolling around they don't listen to anyone right so go play so real good to treat every little thing as a distraction in the beginning go play there we go and now we're going to just go the other way we're going to head back this way may may come place sit good now as we head the other direction i'm going to show you a couple of variances may may heal good good job your time with your dog at the park becomes so much more productive you're building on that leader follower relationship you've got that structure and rules and boundaries in the relationship and everything gets better this structure equals more freedom for you later with your dog may may heal one good let's go there we go good job mate good job Place, sit, 
up. Kettle. Good. All right, so now um, the main thing here is to have structure when you go places with your dog. Now, of course, if you're walking through a farmer's market or a crowded place, you've got the leash in your hand and you're doing a structured walk. But here, when you come to the park, it's a little bit more open and a lot of people want to let their dogs off leash. Well, this is just a really good exercise to practice on your way to achieving off leash reliability. We gave May the freedom and then we structured it with recalls. But then we gave her some freedom and structured it with recalls to the heel position, not the front position. We could have been doing a whistle recall with this if we wanted to. We could have been using that whistle to do the whistle recalls that we already started teaching May uh, yesterday. Uh, so there really isn't a, a limit to how you can practice that structure. The main thing here is that you're practicing with your dog a little bit more attention and awareness of you and responding to you with what you're asking. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know that when we upload, we are putting out a lot more explanatory videos. And if you have questions, I wanna know about it. I'd like to be able to answer your questions and produce more videos to help you with your dog. So please, in the comments below, submit your questions. I'm CJ Quick. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, Peace.